this time is gonna be for real. And I mean it this time because I'm having symptoms. <laughs> two lines means pregnant. Three, two, one. So me and Louis, um, we're thinking about having another baby. So I, I, we have to tell you something. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hate how you exposed me on social media a few years ago. Oh, wow. So, so far today, my mom has texted me, my mom has FaceTimed me, Richard has FaceTimed me. About what? And he just texted me because remember we oh, were supposed to see them this weekend? They think we're not going. Yeah, because they, they think we're not going. Um, so Richard texts me just now, Text hey, me. are you coming today? If not, then I can bring my mom to Tampa to see the kids. If that's okay with you and Louis, of course. She keeps Damn. begging me to ask you to see the kids. Damn. But I'm going to just ignore them. Desperate, bro. Not desperate. Not desperate, but like they want to come. I mean, they want to see the kids, obviously. But I'm saying. Yeah. So we're about to go surprise my family. We were actually going to get an Airbnb, all of us, but I got the dates mixed up. So we told them that we weren't going anymore, but I went ahead and secretly got one either way. Your mom FaceTimed you? You answer or no? No, I didn't answer because I don't want to Tell her. Because yeah. she's going to ask me, like, are you going to come? Yeah. And we're going, but I want to surprise her, but so I just don't want to tell her. her. The last thing you told her was that we didn't find an Airbnb, right? Right? No, I just said one? that we're canceling, we canceled the trip. So my mom has not seen the kids in a while and my little brother who just got out of jail has not seen them yet because to be completely honest, but there was some drama and I've just been wanting to avoid any conflict before seeing them in person. But we actually did have a good talk and we all kind of made up. So oh. we're going to go ahead and surprise them. Great. Well, Godo's not coming anymore. And why is that? Bro, you know how he is, bro. You know, I was telling you, remember I was telling you, like, I was calling him, calling him, because you know how he is, you have to call him a million times yeah. to get him up, to get And him I knew ready. something was going to happen, because he's always like that, too. He's always like that. I told him yesterday, be ready at a certain time. I told him, be a big boy, don't make me call you a million times, be ready at a certain time. Yeah. I call him. Ten minutes later, call him again, he's dead asleep. Call him again, he's dead asleep, he doesn't get up. What time was this? I started calling him at 10, at 12 he was still in bed. At 12, two hours, calling him. Two whole hours. So I asked Gordo to come because I have like some drama with Ramsey's family. So I thought he'd be like a good support system almost. Like I'd be more comfortable if he came because obviously he's part of my family. And freaking Gordo is acting like I'm making him do 100 push-ups or something. And at the end, he's acting like, you know how he is too. Like he doesn't need you, you need him. Yeah, like, you know what he said? He's like, I'm doing you a favor by going to Naples. <gasps> He what said that? Yeah, you're like, you're catching... Even though you're like, you pay for, you're paying for everything like you always do. It's not a favor. I'm asking you if you wanted to go. It's an opportunity for you to go. If you don't want to go, you don't have to. I told him, regardless, it's a free trip for you. You're going to eat for free. We're going to go out. We're going to the beach. A free house, free pool, everything. All yeah, you have to do is have go. Yeah, he doesn't do anything. Instead of just saying, yes, okay, I'll do it. He puts a bunch of complaints. He makes me call him 10,000 times. I have to baby him, beg him. And I'm over it. Like, he's like a little kid. And the fact that I have to deal with that consistently has always been like this. I'm getting really tired of it. I hate to say this, but he's just lazy, he's and, lazy. and sometimes can be very ungrateful. No, I know. And then I told him, you know, I told him, I'm like, why are you acting like that? He's like, I'm not acting. I'm like, and it clicked in my head. I'm like, he's not acting. That's how he is. That's literally how he is. Like, well, yeah. I mean, every time we take him somewhere, like, I like Gordo. I don't have a problem with him, but he just doesn't know how to be grateful, and he, um, he doesn't know how to be grateful, and he just complains for everything. And sometimes it's like, like, There's don't you appreciate about. what nothing we're doing about. for you? He was complaining about the Uber. I'm like, bro, all you have to do is sit down your ass on the Uber. I'm painful. I know because going to go pick him up is just gonna add time to our trip. Whatever. It, Whatever. Either way, like, it's so fine. he's not going for sure. No, he's not. And going. you don't think he's the type to call you like 20 minutes later? Like, I changed my mind. I'm going. No, no, or, no. Like, he won't go. No, because he, he told me he didn't want to go. We're Beg gonna have him. fun regardless. Like, we got a nice house. We're gonna go to the beach. We're gonna fish. We're gonna be with family. Whatever. And I'm sure he's gonna like regret not going. But yeah. at the same time, like, I mean, even don't... if he does it, I don't care. Like, yeah, but at the same time, you don't want to take him on a trip, and then the whole time you're gonna be frustrated exactly. and mad because the whole time he's gonna be walking around like. Exactly. <gasps> and I was already, <gasps> I already tell it was gonna be like that. I was already frustrated on the phone. Imagine in person, begging him to get up, begging him to go here, begging him to do here, go here. So let's leave though, because I really want to get there. I want to get there for traffic, <sighs> and yeah. I know my mom's and Richard's gonna keep blowing my phone up, and I don't want to keep ignoring them. Yeah. You know, I just rather just show up and like knock on the door and just surprise them. Completely. What? Okay. I'll fix it for you. What happened? What happened? Choked me. He, you choked, choked her? What? Let me, let me stop. You said the F what? word? Yo, what's and going on? Said you said it too? No. 
We promise we're good parents, we okay? Are. We are, but... <laughs> we just... Uh, they're twins and they fight all the time and... And they're sponges. Like they, Yeah, we'll say the F word once and they'll say it forever. And they won't like, forget it. They'll forget other things, but they won't forget... They won't forget that. the bad words. Hey, man. That's horrible. Hey, that's horrible. You guys are that's choking horrible. and saying the F word. No, it's not funny. We're leaving right now. Go get your sandals on. We're leaving. Do you want my phone again or not? Okay. Quietly. Mom, are you ready? Phone. I'm I'm packed and already. Like I re I honestly want to go. All right, I'm all packed. You're the last one. How much longer do you have? I want to leave. Twenty minutes later. Just relax, breathe. It's okay. No, I said I want to be out here at 1:30. I know, Brent. You said it's that. It's 1:40. We don't have a timeline. You're taking like, forever, Louis. We don't have a meeting. We don't have a timeline. You're taking forever. Relaxed. Thank you. I cleaned the house. I did a brand deal. I packed their stuff, and all you had to do was just pack your own stuff. I picked them up. I took Juni. I okay, packed their. I packed our, their shit. So what are you talking about? Look, I'm just sitting on my ass. Hurry up. We're going for two days, not two weeks. This video is sponsored by. Marriage counseling. <laughs> Seek a therapist today. Would you guys give an ad for marriage counseling? Um, hell yeah, yeah for sure, would. bro. They're paying that good money, hell yeah. And I just feel like it's something good to promote. Like, I feel like everybody needs Relatable. any type of therapy and counseling, whether it be individual or like marriage. marriage. We actually have done marriage counseling before. We only did it one time back when we lived in Virginia and we were like brand new parents and we were learning how to be a married couple. Um, but besides that, Lewis actually did like individual counseling because he had to work on himself mm -hmm. in order for our marriage to work. Ready guys, P, you ready? Turn off all your off. lights. We absolutely love to travel. It is so much fun, but getting out of the house is so stressful. freaking stressful, stressful, especially for me because I'm not just packing for myself, but I'm packing for all three kids while he just lives his best just life. Pack for myself. So it does get hectic, but once we're out the house, we know that vacation's about to start. So we're going to Naples because that's where my entire family lives and that's actually where we both grew up and where we both met. We're gonna be quiet, okay? I'm gonna call Mimi and we're gonna prank her. So you can't talk, you have to be very quiet. I absolutely love surprises. I will surprise anybody at any time if there is a reason to do so. So I didn't wanna just show up to Naples, like I wanted to surprise my mom and my mom's just super emotional and overly dramatic. So I just know I'm always gonna get a good reaction out of her. Ma, sí. ¿estás ocupada? No, no, no. ¿Qué haces? Acabo de Me iba a dar un baño porque estuve todo el día afuera trabajando con las plantas. Ok, ya, yeah, no te podía contestar la llamada temprano porque estaba trabajando. No, Pero no, no, no. voy a ver si maybe mañana um, I go to Naples. Ah, ya, yeah, qué bueno. Brandy, ¿qué hora van a llegar para cocinar entonces? Para dispararles con almuerzo. Um, in the morning, maybe okay. like we'll get there at like 11 tomorrow. Ah, yo tengo barbecue también. Okay. Tengo barbecue. Pero, wait, someone's calling me. I'll call you back. Pero. Ya, ya. Bye. Bye. Savage. All right, let's go, let's go. Ahora right, go. Okay, we're gonna sneak. So, even though my mom and I have our problems every here and there, I have to give it to her that she is an amazing grandma and she has so much love for our kids and, you know, she hadn't seen them in a while, so she was definitely so, so happy and it made me happy. What do you say? In Spanish? My little brother Jeff wasn't there, but I am a mastermind at surprises, so now I'm gonna make the surprise even better. Yo, this is a 
a hey, nice entrance. I know, it's nice, right? Really it's, nice it's, entrance. It's a nice tall entrance. I like the pavers too, fire. P, don't touch. The entrance is grand and the doors Excuse are big. Me? Ready? Here we go, here we go, let's see. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. When choosing a place, we had to go big because all of our family is going to be here and we picked the perfect location. It has an amazing pool, an outdoor barbecue, a huge kitchen, modern, just beautiful in general. Oh, wow. This is cool. Very dope. This is nice. Come on, guys. Whoa! Pick him up, just be like, I do the, I do the, I gotta do a quick stop to my boy's house. He owes me money. And oh, pull yeah. up here, pull up here. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. And then be like, yo, come with me. It's kind of like, just come with me, come with me real quick. He, they want to meet you. So unfortunately, since this was a surprise, Jeff had to be at work. So as soon as he gets out, Richard is gonna go pick him up and pretend that they're gonna go and stop by one of Richard's friends to pick up some cash that he owed Richard, right? And the house that they're gonna pull up in is gonna be the rental home. We're gonna be hiding and well, just watch. And we'll have all the lights off. We gotta text me when you're like. Passing the shopping plaza. What do, you, what do you think? What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> well, you tell us your plan. You, you think we should do that? No. No? Okay. Aww. Text me when you're pass, passing the shopping plaza so okay. I can start getting everything ready. Okay. And then from there, don't text me again. I'll, I just know. Wow. Don't, don't fuck it up, bro. Don't fuck What's it up. What's up, bro? He's gonna be, but she's gonna start crying. You think so? I know. Yeah, he, he's yeah he's, how long has it been? Like, what? Well, he's, I saw him, like, well, yeah, but, but he, he, he hasn't seen the kids at all. He's never met the twins. No, no, he has. No, he did, when we yeah. took him to jail. When they were little, one, they they were little but he, yeah, he hasn't, he it's been a while. I feel like he's gonna cry 100%. He's gonna, he's gonna probably start tearing up. Uh -huh. He'll probably have a, like a huge smile and then he'll start crying. Yeah, he won't expect it at all. Guys, listen. When, Falcon, listen. Look. Listen. Um, we're gonna surprise Dio Yinye, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn off all the lights and we're gonna hide. And he's gonna come in. And mm. then Theo Richard's gonna open the lights and we're all gonna say, Surprise! Yeah, it'd be very quiet. Okay. Yeah. It'd be very quiet. So my little brother Jeff uh, was sentenced to prison for about six years, and he just got out a couple of months ago. So this whole entire thing that we're doing deep down is to make him happy because you know he hasn't experienced anything like this for the six years that he was in prison. So I'm just super, super, super excited to see his reaction. But it's right there. So I can't. Yeah, these right here are right there. Turn those two on. What are they? No, 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 right there. Yeah, you turn it on quick. And those right there. You see them? Like that? Yeah, so you be the light guy. I'll be the light guy. It's fine. You guys surprise me. I'll be after. I'll just say hi after. Yeah, but squat down like this. Yeah. So now here's the important part of the surprise. We all have to hide. We have to be super quiet. And the kids are doing really good surprising really things.
I can just tell how happy and surprised Jeff is to see the kids. So the entire time that he was in prison, he formed a relationship with the kids through video call and we would also go and drive to see him. But ever since COVID happened, we hadn't seen him. And the last time he saw the kids was probably when the twins first started learning how to walk. <laughs> Ah, Buenas vibras, hijo. Buenas vibras para todos. Bien, qué feo. Bien, está ponte abrazo. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Where's Penelope? Yeah. Where's Penelope? Where's Penelope? Vamos a saltar a hacer buenas vibras. Okay, uno, dos, tres. Buenas vibras, buenas vibras, buenas vibras, buenas vibras. Hey, 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 h
when they see the kids that they are apart and they don't talk to each other with a mother, it's very painful. It's very painful. And I know that it's mothers around the world that are passing through this thing, saying it's very painful. At this moment for me, it is, I have to grab this moment with all my heart forever. Because this moment is the only moment that I don't need nothing else. This moment for me is everything. I have my son, I have you, I have that. I raise you guys by my own. That's why I am very close to you guys because yeah. I really love you guys with all my heart and my life. I love you too, <laughs> For real. Thank you, Luis, for being here, for being, for love Brandy so much. That of was course. how you love her. Thank you so much. And I want to say that, you know, I can be cold sometimes. Oh. <laughs> no, bro, like, yeah, I can be cold sometimes. But you guys know that I truly care about you guys. Like, even though I don't show it, like, you know, I don't care about no, you. No, you do show it, though. If I didn't, I do show it in my own ways. And if I didn't care, I wouldn't have made the effort or the time or done all, any of this, you know? You know what I'm saying? But, like, I do extra little things. Like, instead of me just coming here, let me go a step further. Let me surprise Jeff because I know it'll make you happy. So, yeah, you guys know I care about all of you. But at the same time, I do want to... I don't want to do what we've always done our entire lives and what we've been taught, no offense, but been taught by you where we get in an argument and we just kind of don't talk for a little bit and then we get back like nothing ever happened. One thing about this family that I absolutely hate is the fact that there is no communication and that hurtful things are always being said when somebody's mad. And I am not like that. I will never be like that. And I just look at them and I'm like, this can't happen. If you guys want to have a good family connection and be reunited again like things need to change i've seen firsthand how her family treats her and i'm just happy that she's setting strong boundaries and she's like standing up for herself and then problems keep building up and then just nothing ever gets resolved and then we go back to square run one we don't talk to each other fight you know what i'm saying like i want things to be different especially now that you're going to be here and like you know, now that we're all like united, I, I don't want to do that anymore. Like, I want all of us to be on the same page, have respect for one another, communicate, and just not be toxic. We really respect each other's boundaries. Respect boundaries, just all that, you know? Because I really... There's still a lot of shit to be talked about, though. I know, and that's why I separated I myself that's why for we a long argue time. A lot because we kind of just like, time goes by with the argument, and then it's like, hey, how you doing? Oh, we're well, doing it's, good. And it's then not it's that. Like, we just start arguing. It's not that, but like, not to put you, like, throw you out there, but, like, I feel like you have a lot of learning to do. I mean, you know, you've been in prison for a while, and before you were in prison, you re even myself, like, I didn't know what communication was. I was a toxic person myself because of what I saw growing up, yeah. you know? It's like, you get mad at someone, we were taught, cut them off. And, like, now at, that I'm a grown woman and I'm married and I have kids, I know that's not the thing to do. And I feel like I'm, I've been on that level and, I, and I've changed, and I'm not that same, that person I used to be back in like high school or like back then. I've changed and I feel like when I don't see other people changing or like handling situations a certain way, I remove myself. And that's why like I distance myself from you for a while, from you, from you. All I'm saying is basically like we can get into it tomorrow, like when the sun's out. But I'm just saying like going on from here on out, mm -hmm. I don't want to be that person. I'm not that person, but I don't want this family to be like that. I literally try my hardest to like not even involve myself. The only reason I get involved, I don't get involved. The only reason I would involve myself would only be between me and her. If she f feels sad about something that's going on with you guys, or I feel like maybe she is getting, she's being hurt in some way, one way or another, I, feel, I just tell her, hey, like, I don't think that's right. I feel bad for you. I just feel bad for her. Yeah. But I don't get involved in like problems. I don't, I don't put my two cents in. I just, t whenever I see her struggling, I- yeah, yeah, that's it. That's all I do. But I, most of the time, I'm just un uninvolved completely. So whenever Brampty is going through some stuff, me as a partner, my role is to just be there for her emotionally and just support her in any way possible, but not get involved. Just be there whenever she needs me. At the end of the day, Brampty loves you guys very much. You guys love her very much. Mm -hmm. Like you said, she doesn't show it in the ways you, you guys might want, or she's not super lovey-dovey affectionate, but she does it in her own ways, and she, she clearly loves you guys. Clearly loves you guys with everything. She doesn't have to do half the stuff. She doesn't have to do anything. She's a mom first, she's then a wife, and then she, you know what I'm saying? So, but the, she does a lot of stuff that shows that she loves you guys. So I feel like it's good that we're here together. There is no such thing as a perfect family. You're always gonna have drama or just something that is going to be bothering you. But I think the most important thing to remember is to stand up for yourself. Don't let people step all over you, even if they're your family, because nobody should, family or not. And just using your 
voice and using your words and letting them know what is bothering you. A todos los palomos que dicen que tienen millo, pero no tienen nada. Tengo Gucci, Prada, Valenciaga, todo lo que tú quieras ver. Palomo, alerta. Porque tengo los millones, chones, 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 chones. Porque tengo los millones, chones, 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 chones. Porque tengo los millones, tengo los millones, tengo los millones, tengo los millones. Porque tengo los millones, tengo los millones, tengo los millones, tengo los millones. Porque tengo los millones, che, 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 che. Porque tengo los millones, che, 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 che. Nada no me hace feliz. How would you feel if I brought home a girl? Oh, that's a good question. What was the question? If I brought, if I brought home, home a girl. You know how I am. I'm so protective. You know how I am. I don't trust. Never, you never. have a lot of opinion and input of everybody's relationship. Yeah, that's why I don't have a girlfriend. You would have a girlfriend right now? You think you would? No, I wouldn't because I'm not going to put a chick in a position to get disrespected. Hey, Reggie said, really, you got to find your own place to move out. Of course. Until then, you're gonna, she's going to be here. Interfered all the time. 